Hello awesome people and welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 4. Sashi Buri desu ne? I'm your host, Dark Ringer, and I just got back from my Japanese exam. I think it went pretty well. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So at the end of the last part, we did some annoying jumping puzzles, and then we fought Dante. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, mission 11, let's go. Um, do we really need any power-ups? I don't actually remember. Nope. 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 Okay, we can't actually afford it either of these. Never mind. And we're we're good for items. So screw it, let's get started with mission eleven, the ninth circle. Prevent the birth of a god. So, does this place look familiar to you guys? It should if you played Devil May Cry 3. Even the music sounds similar. Anyway, let's go on up this way. Up here to this combat adjudicator, the final combat adjudicator for Nero. It requires a triple S rank. It's fairly difficult, but as long as you don't use the same move over and over again, you should be good. That was probably a waste of Devil Trigger, but we can easily get it back. Oh, come on! Die! <laughs> okay, with that... Upstairs! And straight into a fight with some Mephistos. And a Faust. Cause we never see Mephistos without a Faust anymore. Whenever Mephistos appear, they always seem to be on like lag. They always seem to be on like a narrow platform where they can easily fall off and then get their cloak back. Die. If he falls off the edge, I'm going to be pissed. Oh yeah, and he moves outside the arena because he's an anus. There. It's always satisfying to pull one of those off. So for some reason a portal just opens up that teleports you back downstairs. I don't know why you would need that. And here is the simplest door puzzle in this whole game. Proceeding alone is strictly prohibited. What does that mean? See this button outside the door? You need to snatch this scarecrow onto the other button. So my question is, how do other people get up here? Is there someone always standing there at all times? Weird.
Now in this empty elevator shaft, there's a secret stash of red orbs. Get that now, because you can't come back for it. Because the next time you come back here, we'll... the elevator will be here and you can't get it. Damn it. Alright, so I jumped down there to get that um, red orb, but for this one, if you jump down, this one's a bit harder. But if you jump down here, enemies spawn. Specifically, Bianco Angelos. Uh, who cares? Bianco Angelos are easy to kill. The fucking altos that give me trouble. Am I losing frames? This seems to be lagging a lot for me. Okay, never mind, it's gotten better. Luckily, no Alto spawn down here, but just wait, they'll eventually spawn. Also, there's a small Devil Star over here, but we're maxed out on those, so we can't pick it up. No, wait. Need the red orbs. There probably is a way to do this without getting them individually, and I messed that up. But I don't know how to do it. Did I miss it? Oh, damn it. There we go. Okay, I screwed that up again. Timing! Timing is key. Also, there's another secret stash of red orbs here. And what's this? An Alto Angelo. Why not? Friggin' die! That could have gone better, but oh well. So this mission is actually the last mission we have with Nero. And then we switch over to Dante, who I absolutely suck with. And honestly, I enjoy Nero's combat better, because of his double bringer. Being able to knock enemies away and then instantly bring them back to you. That's always fun. With Dante, you can you unlock the ability to teleport to enemies, but that's that doesn't flow as well because it requires an extra few button presses. And of course, more enemies. Why not? Uh oh. Oh, good, it didn't hit me. Oh my god, it is lagging so much. Why? Damn it. Die. Aha! I don't have anything else running, so it shouldn't be lagging so much. Strange. Oh, with that we can now go up the elevator. Which is why I said you should get that secret stash beneath the elevator first. And another thing op opens up, I don't know why. Why would you want to go back down? Alright, oh, you don't have to fight these guys, but I want to just for red orbs. Fr 
friggin' Alto Angelos. This is where I don't want to be. Hey, I got double S. Awesome. Fun fact, if you if those scarecrows are still alive and close enough to this Alto Angelo. The Alto Angelo would fight them. Damn it! I shouldn't be wasting double trigger, there's a boss fight right up the elevator. That's all of them. Awesome, we can go upstairs. Yeah, they're gonna keep spawning, just ignore it. Anyway, boss time! That giant statue, sort of. It's ugly! I think we've got a difference of opinion on that one. How oh, unfortunate. Is it not your wish to become one with her? Uh... Within the Savior, your mortal bodies will combine, melting into one to manifest and create his core, a thing of utter and pure beauty. Go blow yourself. That is not the same thing! I'm here to save you. Please trust me. I'm afraid you are too late. But, although still incomplete, this is your chance to catch a glimpse of the true power of our savior. How strong can it be with Kyrie as its core? But yes, the boss fight is Sanctus. He's got two shields. That's the first one that I just broke. And the second one is... If I can fucking hit him! Stop fu fucking moving! There! Alright, while he's exposed like this, you can beat him up for a bit for maybe about five seconds. Do it for too long and I'll get both his shields back. That's probably my favorite Buster animation. I could have dodged that, but I'm an idiot. Shit! Get over here!
Nope! Okay, so now he has an extra move where if you take too long to break his second shield, he'll go into the savior and it'll punch you. You can't counter that first punch, you can only dodge it, but um... Actually, I'll just let you see for yourself. Come on, there we go. As it's about to punch you, Buster it! He said while well in Devil Trigger. Oh god, puns! I'm sure that sword has tasted the blood of Sparta like a bajillion times. You have betrayed us. Why? Because of reasons! I served the dream of a world you spoke of, the savior you preached of. But you used my sister, Kyrie, who has nothing to do with this. And that is beyond forgiveness. Love for a sibling. Unfortunately, you did not anticipate a descendant of Sparta's blood. And because of this boy, you have been outwitted, and the savior will be completed. I don't know. I'd wager this kid still got some life in him. You fucking idiot, Nero! You fool! Escape is now impossible! The creation cannot be stopped! <laughs> I shall take over the power of Sparta! Sorry, I just had to put that scene in. Up so soon? My options are limited. <laughs> so melodramatic. Besides, if you die without giving my sword back, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> then come and get it. <laughs> what a punk. Fuck, I forgot how long these cutscenes were in this mission. I guess it is the midway point, so... meh.
Oh damn it! I was hoping her face was gonna be all demonic. I failed to save you. Okay, never mind. That look on her face is kind of creepy. Kiara, if you ever look at me like that, I'm just gonna go and hide. I swear it! I swear I'm gonna get us out of here! Together, Gideon! Gideon! Ah! Wow, Johnny Young Bosch is really bad at yelling. So is the savior meant to be Sparta? I'm still unclear on that. Sparta doesn't look like that. Yeah, he definitely doesn't look like that. <laughs> Check it out. It's got wings. The design shows terrible taste. <laughs> hey, where's that thing going? It's not complete yet, is it? Heart to save the world from chaos. He will begin by driving it out. Now he has what he needs. Yamato. His body used it to seal the Hellgate from the demon world. And then gave it to his power hungry son. The sword is the key to opening the Hellgate. The real Hellgate. That lies dormant beneath this city. The sword that separates the human world from the demon world. I think you, the son of the Dark Knight Sparta, are the only one who can stop the savior now. Dante. Looks like you've got a rep to live up to. <laughs> Looks that way. Please, honor one last request. Save them. Kirie and Nero. I wouldn't want to deny anyone their dying request. I'll sweep the city and evacuate the people. Hey, is this your way of ditching and dumping this you mess You wanna switch? It's cool. Let's stick to the plan. Man, imagine how uncomfortable Dante must be around Trish, because she looks like his mom. Man, if only I could have gotten no damage on this mission. Oh well. I got three S's, good enough. Anyway, that's the end of Nero's segment of this game. From here onwards, we'll be playing as Dante. Or we would, except I'm going to put this series on an indefinite hiatus for now. The reasons for that are... One, I don't really like Dante's playstyle, by which I mean I suck at it. And two, I want to finish Bloody Roar and Wolf Among Us, and I want to move on to other games. Because I've been doing this series for like a year. I know that's my fault, but I'm getting a bit tired of it, so... Wolf Among Us and Bloody Roar are almost over, so... Well, not Wolf Among Us, there's still like ten of those videos to go, but... Shut up. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and favorite if you did, and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe, and I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye. Come on! Come on!